Oh yeah, today at Knott's Berry Farm, we're gonna be checking out the hot dogs at Wilderness Dog, plus new Not Scary Farm merchandise has dropped and two stores inside the bar. Let's go. As we make our way down Ghost Town, going toward Wilderness Dogs, I would like to address a fault of mine that I did say last video. Last video, we were at the Legacy Store and I got really excited. I looked and saw the Elvira poster and automatically thought that Elvira was gonna be this year. Year. That is not the case. Elvira will not be showing up this year. And I mean, unless Nod's Berry Farm's not letting us know anything, but she will not be there on October 4th. That was the actual poster from the 40th anniversary. So my bad about that, folks, my bad. Now, the next thing I'm about to tell you is gonna be a hard speculation, a real hard speculation, but somebody stopped me about a couple of weeks ago and was talking about how there might be a possibility that Fireman's Brigade actually moves over to the gun shop. Now remember, that is something that I just heard and I'm just reporting something that somebody told me. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know your thoughts about it. A possibility? Maybe. As we turn the bend going into Wilderness Broiler, I did catch this crane. Now it looks like they are currently working on Pony Express. And right there you can see pieces of origins are up already. But what are they actually doing? It looks like they're uh, fixing that runner thing that makes the thing go, Whing, the cable, the cable car thing. Interesting. That has to be a fun job. Working at a theme park, working on roller coasters. So technically, what would you call that piece that they're working on? The pulley system? Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. And look who we ran into, dude. It's Whittles. Whittles here at Knott's Berry Farm. How you doing today, Mr. Whittles? I'm doing very good. You having a good day today? Of Had any boysenberry pies? Have we yet? Not yet. Not yet? We're saving it for lunch and for dinner and for post dinner and for dessert. Oh, nice. Yeah. We're just waiting on boys and it gives them to us. Oh, cool, cool. I'm about to try the new hot dogs that they have at uh, the Wilderness Dog. Ooh, have, so good, have you tried any of the hot dogs yet? No, not yet. You did? Was it good? It was good. It was good? I can't, I'm looking forward to trying it. Now, just a heads up, since we are in the off season, we did get here around 11 o'clock, which most of the food establishments do open at. But since we are in the off season, like I said before, the Wilderness Broiler actually opened at 12 o'clock today. So if you're coming here, some establishments might not be opening up till 12. But enough of that, let's check out the food. Let's see what kind of hot dogs that we're working with. They got the Sasquatch, which is a grilled all beef hot dog topped with calico chili. Ooh. Sh uh, shredded cheddar, crispy onions. They have a chupacabra, which is an all grilled, all beef top with cheese sauce, pico de gallo, sour cream, jalapenos. They got an old mule dog, grilled beef hot dog, top of french fry. What? French fry, cheese sauce, chipotle mayo, and bacon bites. They have the rapids, which is a grilled all beef top with mac and cheese, bacon bites, and barbecue ranch. The outpost, which is a hot dog. Uh, it has hot pastrami topped with garlic pickles, cheese sauce and drizzle, boysenberry mustard, what? And the dynamite dog, a grilled all beef dog topped with grilled onions, peppers, bacon bites, and mayo. As I was about to do a review, I turned around because I felt an awesome presence and it's Crash! My boy, what's up dude? How you doing? Good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just chilling? Right on. Now there are six hot dogs in total. We will be pitting two hot dogs a week till we finish every single hot dog and we can tell you which one is the best one. And the first two hot dogs on this hot dog challenge is going to be the Dynamite Hot Dog versus the Outpost Hot Dog. And let's check out these two bad boys. The one on the left is gonna be the Dynamite Hot Dog and the one on the right is the Outpost. The Dynamite Hot Dog has mayo, onions, bell peppers. Both of these do come with french fries and the Outpost Burger is a pastrami dog, bro. You got pastrami on top, you got the cheese, you got the relish, you got the mustard and you got the hot dog. Which one is gonna come out top today? And the first hot dog up is going to be the Outpost Hot Dog. The one thing that I do really like is that they have these crinkle fries. Really reminds me of my childhood. But you guys are here for french fries. 
You guys are here for the hot dogs. Make sure to grab a bunch of napkins because this hot dog is pretty messy. Now you do get the saltiness from the hot dog itself. The pastrami is on, let's say, a Paul's Place level of pastrami. Uh, the boysenberry mustard, uh, you do taste that. The relish is there. You do get that kind of little pucker from the relish. The one thing that I can do without this is the cheese, but this wasn't a bad hot dog. Would I get this hot dog again? This is probably one of the best pastrami concoctions that I've eaten here that Knott's Berry Farm has made. Yeah, I'd get this again. This hot dog for me is easily getting a six out of 10. Now, onto the dynamite dog. Now it's time to find out who's gonna win this hot dog challenge. Now the dynamite dog was okay. This is just a Mexican dog that Fiesta Village used to have at Fiesta Dog. Uh, you do get that nice crunchiness from the onions. Surprisingly, this hot dog wasn't as salty as this one, even though this has bacon wrapped around the hot dog. It's probably because of all the pastrami and everything else that is on top of this. Uh, if you love vegetables and you like a Mexican dog, I could recommend it. Would I get this one again? For me, no, nah, I wouldn't get this one again. This one for me is easily gonna get a four out of 10, but wait, maybe I have something to make it a lot better, like a Not Scary Farm hot sauce. If you love hot things, go get yourself a Not Scary Farm hot sauce at the Lady City store for only $9.99. And no, not this video is not sponsored by Knott's Berry Farm, nor am I an ambassador, and I don't even get invited to the media events. Salty. In this week's hot dog challenge, we pitted the Dynamite Hot Dog versus the Outpost Hot Dog. And the Outpost Hot Dog won. Make sure to stay tuned next week where we're gonna pit. Ah, who are we gonna pit next week? I'm gonna let you guys choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little picture right here of all the hot dogs. You guys at home, go ahead, get on your little keyboards, go down below and let me know what two hot dogs you would like to see going head to head next week. Oh yeah! Now that we're done eating, it's time to look at some not scary farm merchandise. <laughs> Check this out, dude. I just picked up Sarah Marshall's witch's hat that I did find outside at the Legacy Store, and it was only $16.99 plus tax, which isn't bad. Plus, if you're a pass holder, you do get that discount. We're gonna see if they actually have this hat inside at the two locations that I'm about to show you. We're currently walking through the Roaring Twenties area. They got the Not Scary Farm stuff up. Select like dates, September 21st through October 31st. Tickets are on sale now, but as we pan out, bro, they got some stuff going up here for the Goring Twenties. I'm excited. I actually love this whole area, man. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool place. Look at this. Got that right there. Look at this. Nation votes itself dry. Now this isn't the only area that is set up, but if we go right over there, we have Smith's flour and produce with all their rotten produce ready for you to eat and their beautiful bouquet of flowers that you can purchase for your dead loved ones. <laughs> but we are here for some merchandise. So let's head back over here to the factory store because they have one item in here that you cannot find at the legacy store. But when we walk in, one of my favorite things of all time to collect are these pens this year. They have, uh oh, bro. They have a cockroach blanket for $44.99. That would complete my collection of all the Not Scary Farm cockroach stuff. You have your pens here. They have the lamps for sale. Let's see what kind of shirts they have. Now you can find most of all this outside at the Legacy Store. I think this year Not Scary Farm went all in because I'm loving all their merch. I'm for sure gonna go bankrupt this year. And that's no joke. We have the mazes on the back wall. 
We got this Not Scary Farm 2023 limited edition event shirt, which I'm gonna have to pick up. You got the gargoyle glow in the dark. We have the pumpkins. Now we're just waiting for the artwork to become back there. I don't know if that was the correct word I was looking for, but anyways, we have this Not Scary Farm spirit jersey for $69.99 and this is what I'm talking about. You could only find this Malice in Wonderland Not Scary Farm shirt here for $24.99. Now, this was my high school era maze, dude. We're all mad. I'm telling you, it was a sick maze and it was a trip. Now, on the back wall, we're gonna find some Elvira stuff. Ooh, look at these pants for the ladies. They got this cool cat shirt here. They even got Vincent Price. You have your Scare Farmopoly. And if you're wondering about the lamps, these are interactive lamps for $39.99 plus tax. You have 100 plus interactive moments throughout Scary Farm. And the activation highlights you have 54 in maze, 10 scare zones, five legacy stores, and four park displays plus bonus QR code hunt, dude. This year is going to be awesome, bro. I'm definitely going to have to pick those up before it sells out. And if you have not already picked up your limited edition Not Scary Farm Lounge Fry, you can pick it up here too. But just remember, limit two per person. I'm digging this classic American tattoo style Elvira shirt. Plus, they have this Beach Mistress of the Dark carry bag, or tote bag, for the ladies. Now that we checked out the factory store, let's head across the street to Cordy's Corner, and yes, I'm still wearing the witch's hat. This is how you'll find me wandering around Not Scary Farm this year. Well, let's head on inside and check out their merchandise. If you have not yet, dude, folks, I'm telling you, if you have not yet picked up the history of Not Scary Farm, you for sure have to pick it up, dude. I've been thoroughly reading this book. It is a great book with a lot of details of Not Scary Farm that you're going to want to know, especially if you are a Not Scary Farm fan. We have these ceramic cups here. If you like, you know, throw them in the back. We have our Knott's 50th shot glasses. We have some haunt pens. I'm digging this coffee cup right here. Look, an old school not scary farm uh, insignia with some pumpkins and bats around it. As we pan to the left, this is going to be the entranceway. It's not as decorated as it has been years prior, but we do have the legacy store outside. We walk through. To our left, you're gonna find the lounge fly, not the lounge fly, sorry, spirit jerseys that we did see across the way. You have the Not Scary Farm cups. We have Scareopoly in here. You have a lot, I mean, they, have, they got a lot of the uh, lounge flies. Yep, that's right. But this is something I have not seen anywhere else. It's the Not Scary Farm 50th beanie, which I'm really digging. Immediately to my left, you'll find the Not Scary Farm 50th Anniversary shirts. You have this one. You have the hoodie right here. We have our cockroach cozy throw for 40 something bucks. We have the 50th uh, water bottle. And you have this shirt, which has a lot of mazes in there. Look, you got Lockdown, you have Black Magic, you have Endgame, you have Fallout Shelter. I remember Fallout Shelter. It's old school, bro. As we walk over here, Tales from the Crypt. Love Tales from the Crypt, man. What are these? These are 3D fresheners. Also, they got some really cool haunting fresheners right here for your car. They have a Vincent Price ceramic vase. They have a monster bride right here. Or a mug, sorry. I got this shirt. That's pretty cool. Now, here's some more Elvira gear here. You have that. You have this cool heart shaped spider web purse. Now, this decal of Elvira I do like. You have Tales from the Crypt hat. You have this ceramic body mug of Elvira. You have this ceramic vase. Oh, look. And a Vira uh, purse that looks like a bewitched. Over to the right, you'll find some more accessories for the ladies, some more handbags. I believe these are like some, you know, throws or something you put over your shoulders. We do have more of the lanterns. Directly behind me, you have Vampira. You have pins, you have these little booty shorts. You have your caramel corn, you have the slasher popcorn that you can buy. Oh, are these stickers? 
Oh, check it out, dude. They have all these cool stickers right here. Oh, I'm digging that. What is that? Clowns, Carnival, Mesmer, Bloodline. Dude, I'm really digging that. And you're going to be able to find all your haunt shirts for this year. You have the Chambers. I'm looking forward to Room 13. Now, behind me, they have a lot of the hot sauces. See, there it is. It's a little dark in this area. There's Crash. What's up, Crash? You have the 50th anniversary shirt here. Your skeleton mug. So, like I said before, all of this you've probably seen in videos prior to this. If you haven't, it's new to you. It's still coming here. It's cool. Got the Origins hat. Oh, they do have the Witch's hat. So, you can find the Witch's hat in here also for $16.99. They have this Witch's Brew cup. That is cool. If you want to decorate your Halloween tree, you have this Not Scary Farm Halloween tree ornament you got the not scary farm uh hoodie for origins we have our slasher hat like i've said prior i got to experience the slasher when i was younger we got the gauntlet we got all that we have more not scary farm 50th i believe this is the one that's going to have the gargoyle on it got the hoodie see this decal the legacy uh uh decal and you have all your hats. And they have some items for the kids for Spooky Farm. For $22.99, you get this cutest pumpkin in the patch. And right here, look, happy Halloween trick or treat. I wonder if this is going to be the decal for this year's uh, Camp Spooky. But we have Woodstock as a witch. We have Charlie Brown as a vampire. And Snoopy as a vampire, too. Mwah! And here is the very controversial no boo necklace. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know your thoughts of the no boo necklace. I can tell you right now, if you do buy the no boo necklace coming to Not Scary Farm, expecting not to get scared, let me tell you, you're lit up, the monsters can see you, and you're pretty much a target, dude. So by all means, you go ahead and buy the no boo necklace. You're gonna get scared. Maybe not. It's uh, your, your chance, you're taking it. But uh, this is going to be the Not Scary Farm 50th Anniversary See-Through Bag. It is $16.99. Now, as you folks remember last year, there is a limit to how big the bag can be. So I believe this is as big as it can be. Hey, Mom, look. Here's the boon necklace that we have to get you. So, so the boon necklace that we have to buy you so you don't get scared. I just got done explaining to everybody that you're safe if you buy the boon necklace. Oh, she's smart. She's smart. Now check it out. They have this cool spider skull dress for $69.99. And they have this creepy skull pumpkin purse for $93.99. A little expensive, but I mean, that thing's pretty huge. As we're making our way out of Knott's Berry Farm, we're passing the main stage and check this out. They are already setting up the stage for this year. Got the devil right there. Now, I did watch last year's show. It was pretty cool. I'm looking forward to see what they have going on for this year. And it looks like the Calico stage has some spooky decorations going up too. And in Ghost Town, we have all these fog machines waiting for you for this year's Fog Alley. Now, one more thing before we get up out of here. If you did purchase a Not Scary Farm Pass, you can get your Not Scary Farm Passes now. The only sad thing is, is if you did add your 50th pass to your pass, you're not going to get a hard copy, man. Sorry, guys. You're only able to get this Not Scary Farm Pass if you ordered it by itself, not as an add-on. And that's gonna be it for this week's Nods video. Now, don't forget to go down below and comment which two hot dogs compete next week in the Nods Berry Farm Hot Dog Challenge. Well, really appreciate every single one of you stopping on by and watching this video today. If you liked the video, give it a big like. If you haven't subscribed, go down below and subscribe, and I will catch you next video. Deuces.